the new topic that is heredity. Heredity is nothing but study of transmission of characters from one generation to the next generation. The science of studying heredity is called as genetics. This word was given by Batson in year 1905. One more scientist whose contribution is immense in this science is Gregor John Mandel, who is also known as father of genetics. Father of genetics because of his uh, vast uh, experiments and all, he developed the rule of inheritance. The how the characters are transmitted from one generation to the next. The basic theme behind the genetics is the study of variations. If we see variations, variations are concerned with the differences between the individuals of the same species and also between offsprings or the next generation of the same species. Variations, if we see the types, they are of broadly two types. One is somatic variations, another is germinal variations. Somatic variations are due to the environmental reasons. Somatic variations mainly they are due to the environmental reason. Such as light, temperature, nutrition, and the, one of the most important that is also habitat of the organism means where the organism prefers to live if we say a few words about these points the light people who are staying in areas where they face more light duration they tend to have dark colored skin and people, those who are staying in uh, less duration of high, uh, light or temperature as well, they have got uh, a better or uh, whitish color of skin. Similarly, nutrition also provides the variation cause as well as habitat, particular habitat, as uh, whether it may be aquatic, it may be terrestrial, it may be aerial or it may be arboreal. Wherever the organism lives, he develops that type of uh, variations or characters. If we see the next point, apart from environment, which plays a next important role in variation is the use and use and disuse of organs. For example, if somebody is using his biceps or the hand muscles, they have better developed biceps. If somebody is using an, any specific part of the body consciously, so that specific part becomes more and more stronger. So this is the concept of use and disuse of organ. Similarly, the next point which should be mentioned over here is the conscious efforts conscious efforts means by a man produced by somatic variation in human themselves in domestic animals and plants they are most commonly seen in such as such somatic variations are not that important in the study of genetics 
what is more important here is the germinal variations because these are transmitted from one generation to the next so we will see germinal variations in detail okay germinal variations these are the variations which comes to the next generation through transfer of genetic material and that is of course DNA DNA is present in form of genes on chromosomes now when sexual reproduction takes place these chromosomes are transmitted to the next generation and the genes present on those chromosomes they are also transferred to the next generation so any changes due to the copying change uh, copying <coughs> uh, period changes or mutations taken place in chromosomes or on genes is transferred to the next generation causes uh, uh, germinal variations could be of two types one is continuous variations one is discontinuous variations so we will see in detail one by one continuous variations continuous variations they are also called as fluctuations like fluctuations in light there is sometime bright light sometime dim light seen similarly these variations are not very uh, uncommon in the nature they occur very frequently sometime at a faster pace sometime at a slower pace these variations are undetectable many a times or they do not contribute to the formation of new species very frankly uh, the, if we see the causes of continuous variations it is mainly the process of crossing over which takes place during meiosis now we should remember where does it take place meiosis takes place in sac cells or germ cells germ cells are present in sex organs mainly if we say about the animals it is testes and ovary so crossing over is considered to be the basic cause of continuous variation which takes place during meiosis that is formation of gametes this uh, takes place during formation of gametes they are sperm in male and ova in female coming to the next that is discontinuous variation discontinuous variations are due to mutations the main cause is mutation now let us see what is mutation mutation is the sudden in hairy table change 
in the genome of the organism. These changes again are because of change in the DNA structure or on or of change in chromosome structure or chromosome number. The cause of mutation may be environmental forces such as ultraviolet rays, gamma rays, exposure to X-rays or hazardous chemicals. Frequently used in the manufacturing units of clothes, nylon and paper. So mutations are again considered as a raw material for evolution. It enables the organism to face the struggle for the existence in the better way. Why they are important? They are important because they make the organism adapted for the changing environmental need. Basically, the need is of three types. One is need for food, another is food for a need for shelter and the third most common is need for mates that is male or female it is the basis of heredity mutation are very important they takes place absolutely randomly coming to the basics of genetics let us first discuss the contribution of Mandel 